When you become a parent, you automatically transform into a detective too. Every sign and change in your child's behavior will catch your attention, especially if you are a first-time daddy or mommy. Many parents have heard of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD as it is commonly known. But ADHD is not frequently discussed for fear of embarrassment or being disrespected if one has children with the condition. But that's exactly what we'll be talking about today in this video, all about ADHD and your children. Before we dive into this topic, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful parenting videos. How can you tell if your child has ADHD? Recognizing whether a child has ADHD without a doctor's diagnosis is not always easy. Still, there are some predominant signs and symptoms that we can watch out for in a child. Often, these signs and symptoms may seem common in any child, but appear more severe for children with ADHD. For example, having difficulty focusing and following through tasks, being restless and not being able to settle down quietly, being extremely impatient and impulsive, being easily distracted and not being able to pay attention when spoken to. Millions of children are diagnosed with ADHD. According to Mayo Clinic, ADHD is a chronic condition with persistent issues like inability to sustain attention, hyperactivity, and impulsive behavior. The next question is, what causes ADHD? There's still no actual evidence of what causes ADHD today. General perception has put the blame on bad parenting and the environment for attention and behavior problems. According to NHS UK, our genetic makeup seems to be a significant factor that results in ADHD. In a study by the National Institute of Mental Health, the 25 adults with ADHD symptoms studied were found to metabolize glucose more slowly in brain areas that are responsible for movement and attention. Besides that, other factors that increase the risk of ADHD, according to the Hyperactive Child book, include the use of alcohol or drugs during pregnancy, lead poisoning, and in some isolated cases, even one's diet. But clearly, there is no one thing that we can point to as the culprit that causes ADHD. What happens if a child has ADHD? Children with ADHD are often low in self-esteem. They are not good in relationships and usually perform poorly in school. And because they are highly distractible, impulsive, and sometimes even fearless, they can turn everyday activities into exhausting and stressful events for parents. Children with ADHD can be clustered into two major groups, hyperactive or impulsive, and inattentive. A hyperactive or impulsive child may climb, jump, or roughhouse during quiet play squirm and move around most of the time, interrupt and refuse to listen, refuse to share or take turns, or throw tantrums and have emotional meltdowns. On the other hand, an inattentive child may wander off tasks easily and make careless mistakes, have attention problems and always seem distracted, lack organizational skills and tend to lose things easily, have trouble comprehending instructions given, or have difficulties remembering the tasks given. There's no easy way out in parenting a child with ADHD. But remember, children with ADHD cannot control their behaviors. And how parents respond to the child's needs can either improve the condition or make them worse. Here are 10 useful tips for parents of children diagnosed with ADHD. Number one. Keep with the treatment routines. Follow the prescribed treatments and therapy appointments. If medicine is given, ensure to follow the dosage and monitor your child's reaction. Number two, understand how ADHD affects your child. Identify your child's areas of difficulties and work closely with your therapist to customize methods to help your child improve. Number three, take one step at a time. Take baby steps and don't rush things. Focus on improving one task first and remember to give compliments and encouragement. Number four, discipline with intention and love. Each child is different, 
so you'll need to find the best discipline approaches for your child. Your aim is to help your child improve. Be supportive and encouraging when correcting their behavior. Number five, let your child know the boundaries. Take time to talk to your child about how you expect them to behave before going somewhere or doing something. Keep in mind to focus on guiding them to do the right thing rather than reacting to any mistake. Number six, talk about ADHD with your child. Let your child know that ADHD is not their fault. Assure them that you are always there for them to help them improve. Number seven, create a special bonding time. Set aside a time each day for activities with your child, even if it's just talking to them. During this special bonding time, focus your full attention on them. Number eight, acknowledge positive behaviors. Compliment your child when they do something good. Be specific in giving praise. For example, you washed the plates really well. Good job. Explain to your child why they are deserving of the praise. Number nine, collaborate with the school. Discuss with the teacher about your child's progress and explore possibilities to help your child do well at school. Some children with ADHD may perform better with individual education program, so talking to the teacher will help assess that. Number 10, connect with support groups and other parents with ADHD children. Seek out and join your local support group for ADHD to gain awareness. You will also find useful tips by connecting with parents with ADHD children who can share their experiences and tips to help you cope better. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, about 60% of children with ADHD continue to have symptoms when they grow up. As parents with ADHD children, your next concern may be, can my child be self-sustained when they grow up? The good news is there are more and more job opportunities offered by companies for ADHD adults. In addition, the advancement in technology is helping to close the gap matching adults with ADHD to the right job traits. Finding jobs that capitalize on the strengths of people with ADHD is the key for a rewarding career. Yes, adults with ADHD can enjoy fulfilling careers too. For example, an individual with ADHD usually possesses high technical aptitude. They are detail-oriented and could be very good in the field of IT. Besides being very ultra-structured, adults with ADHD are also visually oriented, creative, and most of them are interested in animals. Think careers in engineering, accounting, art and design, animal science and research, to name a few. Not convinced yet? Here are some famous people you might have heard of who are super accomplished in life, and they all have ADHD. Michael Phelps Believe it or not, this Olympic champion with 22 Olympic medals, the most of any athlete in history by the way, was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of 9, and his mom became his champion. If he didn't want to read, she gave him the sports pages from the newspapers. She encouraged him to swim, and swimming not only became the perfect outlet for his hyperactivity, it was what also helped him develop the concentration and self-discipline which has helped him clinch medal after medal in life. Adam Levine This Maroon 5 frontman struggled with ADHD since he was young. He had trouble sitting down to focus and get his homework done. And it's gone on into adulthood too. He says that he sometimes has problems focusing on writing songs or recording in the studio. Till today, he is still working with doctors to deal with his ADHD, but yet look at how far he's come. Bill Gates. It's almost common knowledge that Bill Gates suffers from ADHD. In fact, it was so bad he dropped out of Harvard. Imagine what his parents must have thought when he did that. Yet we all know of his successes to come. He's even worth more than a hundred billion now. Do you think his parents are anything but proud of him? Children with ADHD can learn strategies to have a fulfilling life, but they need you as their parents to support them with patience, understanding, and acceptance. Help them see the good things about themselves. Build their resilience by fostering a strong relationship with them. Don't be shy to get help. Remember, early intervention can make a big difference in your child's development. 
We've come to the end of this video. If you're a parent with a child with ADHD, what tips can you share with other parents that you've learned on your journey? Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to help them understand more about ADHD and kids. More meaningful parenting tips will be coming your way, so do like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. See you in the next video!